So I'm Maureen, and uh, this is my daughter Frances, and um, my husband George is uh, back with the banner over there, and our son is away at college. Uh, but as a family, we've been participating in a disarmament vigil at Bath Ironworks. Actually, be when I was pregnant with Frances, we started. So we started in December of 2000, uh, and we vigiled. Uh, we, t we vigil every Advent and every Lent uh, because those are holy times and to call into uh, the holy times in our religion and in our world uh, the, the prayer for disarmament and the standing uh, shoulder to shoulder and speaking truth to power to the administration of Bath Ironworks. Um, and um, when we vigil uh, we have a whole group of people who come, very different people. Some people only come once, some people come uh, as often as they can. Uh, and at the end of the vigil, we stand in a circle uh, and uh, shoulder to shoulder and we call in the people in the world, around the world, who, has su who have suffered at the hands of U.S. militarism and the people around the world who have suffered because of their resistance to U.S. militarism. And we call them to help them strengthen, to ask their help in strengthening our presence at Bath Ironworks. Uh, and oftentimes when I'm, uh, I'm a social worker myself, and when I'm really struggling with things that are going on, I call that circle uh, from my heart, because that circle lives in our heart, and we can be in that circle whenever we need to in this world that doesn't really recognize disarmament and doesn't really recognize as love as what is the most important thing between human beings. So that circle is part of my heart and part of our hearts, and we invite you to be part of that circle. The next time we'll be there is the beginning of Advent, which is Saturday, December 2nd, at 11.30, we meet right in front of the administration building at Bath Ironworks, and we'll be there up until the four, four Saturdays in December, and then we'll be back in Lent. Okay, and I'd like to introduce my daughter, Frances, who wanted to add something. I think it's up there, okay, so like my mom said, I've been going to this vigil since I was born, and Something that has um, been brought to my attention um, lately or through my whole life is just that the United States um, spends all this money on war and on going around and being the police of the world and thinking they can go into other countries and try to solve their problems. But the problem is that we need to solve the problems within our own country before we can even, like, war it doesn't need to exist and we need to. We need to see that and we need to um, spend the money that we have on solving the problems. We, we can't spend tax money or any money at all on building warships. We need to spend it on education and um, making our country and the people within our country that live in our country a better, like have better lives and not live on the streets and yeah.